The 25th anniversary of Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii is getting set up for another unforgettable event to honor the memory of all the loved ones who have passed and commemorate the sacrifices of our fallen heroes. Chris Vitronic joins us now live at Ala Moana Beach Park with more. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam, and everybody on this beautiful, fantastically beautiful Aloha Friday. And uh, it's a beautiful weekend as we uh, celebrate Memorial Day and, of course, the 25th anniversary of the Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii. And it's going to be a beautiful ceremony, which it always is. And here to tell us more is volunteer Mr. Stephen Smith Coleman. Good morning, sir. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And tell me a little bit about just how you got involved with the Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii. Oh, I got involved because my father passed five years ago and I was trying to find a way to pay my respects for him. I wanted to do a sky lantern and while online I found out those were illegal but at the same time I saw the website lanternfloatinghawaii.com clicked on it within five minutes of reading it I said you know what that's what I want to do to pay my respects to my father. Yes well that's amazing and a uh, big respect uh, to your late father and tell me how did that whole ceremony go? Oh, the ceremony was such an amazing feeling. Uh, just getting to be out here to do this with everyone, uh, that feeling of love being in the air, it's, it's real here. Yes, that's amazing. And for people that don't know who've never experienced this, what is it all about and what is the action that actually happens this coming Monday? Oh, honestly, this is just about paying respect to uh, any fallen soldiers and any loved ones you have, uh, even down to pets that you consider family. Uh, this lantern right here is where you're going to put your prayer request. Um, just let your loved one know how you're doing, how much you love and miss them, and then we'll get to light these and send them out into the sea. Yes, and that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Tens of thousands of people come from all around the world to experience this. Uh, but a little bit different, because I know we had COVID a couple years ago, and there was online registration. There's still that for some options, but as for getting the, the individual lanterns, how do we do that this year? If you want to grab an individual lantern uh, at the at the lantern request tent. We'll have them available from 10, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on a first come, first serve basis. Okay, so make sure you get there early. And we know this is a, a humongous event with uh, so many people coming. Parking, definitely a big issue. What's kind of the plan and best advice for people coming here? Uh, I would say Ala Moana Center, that's, that's okay to start with. If you go to our website, uh, we also have some information about other areas you could park at as well. That's a very good tips there. As for the lantern, I know there's a limited amount. If people can't be here or they don't get uh, one of the many singular lanterns, what are the, some of the options they can do to get their remembrances out? Uh, they can still submit a prayer request online, and from there we have a collective remembrance lantern that we will take that request, put it on, and float it out for them because they're not here with us. Okay, that's excellent. And also uh, so much happening uh, with the festivities that are happening here. What are you looking forward to most about the ceremony? Uh, once we get to light the lanterns, uh, honestly, it just gets so quiet and seeing how the sky is dim and just these light up, it's a great feeling that I just want to be a part of over and over again. Yes, and being a part of it, there's still volunteer opportunities. How can people come and volunteer to this event? Uh, if you want to volunteer, there's information on lanternfloatinghawaii.com. Uh, because we're definitely looking for volunteers that will help us collect the lanterns around 8 p.m. and going into the summer when it's time to clean these lanterns and use them for next year. Perfect. Stephen uh, Coleman-Smith, thank you so much for your service as well as being a great volunteer to this memorable event. Thank you. Yes. And you can come see Stephen, be a part of this as well as just uh, be involved in it. It's all about just being here and just feeling the vibe, which you can't experience anywhere else. We'll have more information on how you can be a part of the volunteer as well as just enjoying the ceremony on KHON2.com. This is Chris Latronic working for Hawaii live from Ala Moana Beach Park, sending things back to you. Yes, Chris, it is such a unique experience. Big mahalo to Stephen and all the volunteers as well as you for that live report, Chris. Now, folks, if you can't make it on down to the beach for the ceremony, you can tune in to KHON2. We will be airing it live Monday. That goes from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m.